The countdown for the 2024 Olympic Games is on, and this year the first dance sport ever to compete at the Olympic Games is here, and it's breaking. Here with more are two of the top breakers in the U.S., B-boy Victor Montalvo and B-girl Logistics Logan Edra. Welcome, guys. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had anybody cooler on the show. Like, I feel like you guys have just like this level of cool that I can't ever reach because you can do this skill. But let's talk to you, Victor. You were the first American breaker yeah. to qualify for the Paris Games yeah. and the reigning men's world champion. So what was it like when you found out that you were going to the Olympics? So for me, it was like one of the best feelings ever. You know, I was like really stress-free after winning that event, just knowing that I'm going straight to the Olympic Games. So. Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh my God, of course you are. And Logan, you've been called a breaking prodigy and in 2021 became the youngest ever winner <laughs> of the Red Bull final at 18. Like what drew you into breaking at such a young age? How'd you get into this? Yeah, I felt like breaking was always so different from anything I've ever tried and it was the most challenging. I needed something that was more difficult um, <laughs> and different because not a lot of girls, you know. Wait, what were you doing before that I wasn't was doing, hard enough? I was dancing. Yeah. But breaking was just different. It's like a combination of a lot of things. So. Yeah, I mean, I love that you were like, give me, give me a challenge. Let me try something <laughs> different. But Victor, you just got back from Japan yeah, yeah. where you were competing. So where is yeah. your training at right now for Paris? Like, how do you train for breaking for the Olympics? So my training right now, to be honest, is just all mental. So I haven't been practicing at all. Really? I just like try to stay away from the dance so I can come back like even more inspired. So right now, I just kept myself away from it so I can come back and just train harder. Oh, okay. So, Logan, is, let me ask you this because I have no idea. But is breaking like a routine that you, that you plan or is it freestyle? So all the music we have at the battles, it's, we don't know what's going to play. And oh, we have to really? react to the music, yeah. So it's not routine. We have some set combos and some people plan their rounds, but for the most part, it's freestyle. Yeah. It's in the moment, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we read that breaking actually started right here in New York in the Bronx yeah. in the 1970s. So, I mean, what kind of style of breaking are we going to see at the Olympics? Is there a sep like a? I imagine every trick that you do is probably yeah. scored, right? Like like figure skating or something like that. Yes. Yeah, so uh, what you're going to see is more well-rounded breakers. So breakers that do like all the elements of breaking, which is top rock, footwork, power, freezes, but like for the most part, I feel like everyone has their own little unique style. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, how do you think the U the U.S. team ranks against the other countries in breaking? Mm. Like, who's like your biggest competition? I always say myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like U.S. always brings that vibe because this is where breaking yeah. started. Yeah. So, yeah. so no matter what the rankings are, we have like an essence that a lot of other yeah. outside breakers. Yeah, and they're really talking about breaking, like really shaking up the Olympics. So how cool is it to be a part of that? No, it's amazing, man. Like I'm so happy to bring hip hop culture to the Olympics. Yeah. 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 Well, I will be rooting you on from home. Thank you. In a thank very you. comfortable outfit and trying things <laughs> in my living room. <laughs> be sure to follow Victor and Logan on social media. And, of course, watch the Paris Olympics and Paralympics this summer on NBC and, of course, on Peacock.